Hi everybody, editing Amanda coming in to break this <laughs> vlog wide open. I really forgot I to film like an intro. I, <laughs> I got so excited about the hat that I just dove in and just started making it and forgot to kind of announce the vlog series. So welcome to <laughs> week one of making roses boarding gown dress. I hope you enjoy this whole process. Um, Yes, if you haven't watched my plan with me video before, I talk way more in depth about this outfit and why I'm doing it, but I'm just in here to say, welcome to week one. Thanks for following and watching this video. Hey there everybody, it's Jedi Amanda here with some post-workout hair and clothes. Probably wearing the same thing that I wore last time I recorded this, but we made some changes already to the road to the rose hat, and I don't know if I'm going to include this part or I might have already done that. I don't really know how I'm gonna edit this, but um I a couple days ago started working on this hat and I'm already really happy about it. Um but I put I put the wire in, which works, but then I put organza covered the wire because in the movie, she does have this, I'd say about two inch border at the edge of the hat that is a different color than her actual hat. And I know it's because there's two different straws sewn into the same hat. I don't have that capability right now because I just have one hat. And so I thought adding fabric would give me that, that color difference that I wanted. It turned out the color was nice, but it was too shiny when the light hit it. I didn't like how it looked. So I took it off and now I'm markering it in and I like it already 10 times better. Uh, so that's what we're doing right now. Um, after I get that done, I'm going to go ahead and mock up the bow out of muslin or paper, whichever material works for the mock-up. See the uh, design, how big I want the bow, the size before I cut the nice fabric because the mock-up is needed for this. Uh, there are two bows laid on top of each other. I'm going to interface. I have enough fabric of that fabric to do um, a double-sided big bow on each. And that fabric is very thin, so it's gonna be nice and fluffy. So I am gonna interface it, um, make the bow. But I think before I interface it, I'm going to have to color 
the fabric a different color because in the movie there are stripes on it that are laid pretty nice that are different colors than the actual fabric that I have and I don't have the real fabric I have what I have from Silk Baron which is a beautiful fabric and I love it but I need those couple of stripes that are kind of at the edge of the bow close to the hat different color and that is going to be achieved with an alcohol marker which is exactly what I'm doing with this so I'm using alcohol based markers for this which means they're quick drying they're fast drying I've already done tests it's not coming off or clear it doesn't come off this i have to watch uh the bleeding though i will say um, i was able to do these two lines pretty much going on the inside and kind of letting the ink bleed a little bit from where i placed the color and it worked out and, and versus like over here where it spilled over too much so i have to watch that when i do that but i think it's gonna work out just fine so that's where we're at right now. I think I'm going to get this hat done tonight. Like, color me shocked. <laughs> color me shocked. We'll see how it goes. Let's keep going.
everybody. You can kind of tell what's in the frame, but we finished the hat, or at least I would say 90% of it has been finished. Um, yeah, so that's going to be the end of the, this vlog for the week. I finished this hat um, two days ago, and today is Saturday of this week one of rose making. And um, I knew it was actually going to be a pretty, a, a not too bad build. I know that's not 100% accurate from the movie, uh, but it's the best I can do with what I have. So yes, I'm very happy with it. The bow is gigantic. <laughs> I'm literally like hitting everything with it. The only thing that I'm, I'm gonna worry a little bit about that I don't like the use the, the look of it too much is the horse hair that I did add in between the bow layers to get it to give that really nice round look. You can kind of see where it cuts off, especially near where the coloring difference is that I did. Um, yeah, so uh, <laughs> the coloring of this of the silk was fine. I realized that this, this silk taffeta that I got from Silk Baron is perfect for what I need it, but it's not 100% accurate. There's a lot of lines and colors mix, missing on it, but it's fine. I think it looks good. I am very happy with it. It's huge and I think it'll work just fine for what we're going to use with it. So it's going to definitely be a little cocked off to the side. It kind of bends in a little bit. Um, good thing I had that wiring in there and I just think it's going to be perfect. I'm just so excited by the way it looks and it's going to be so dramatic, especially with like reveals that I do. I just... I'm so excited to be back making like pretty, pretty princess things <laughs> or at least historical stuff. So yes, the hat is done for right now. We're going to move on to the corset next week and get that done and get going. And then we're just going to keep working on Rose, keep chucking away on her. Um, I will put below in the description the links to everything that I used for this, which honestly was just the fabric and the hat link. The wiring that I used was gardening wire. The marker that I used was a Prisma color marker that I just had in my stock and uh, needle and thread, lots of that. So if you're interested in making this hat, I believe this, this tutorial will suffice you. <laughs> um, yeah, so thank you for joining me on week one of Rose. We are booking it, we are moving and I, can see a lot of you guys are really excited about this build as much as I am. I am really, really excited we're doing this. So uh, leave me a comment below if your favorite rose outfit is this one as well. I would really like to hear what you guys think of the Titanic costumes. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel or joined my Discord yet, please do. We are talking all about this build in there and a lot of other fun things. And of course, I will have another video for this rose making vlog uh, next week. And until then, I will see you all later. Bye.